la 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 Leo, la 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 Leo, la 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 Leo, la 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 Leo, la la la. What's up, lines? What's up, Leo gang? What's popping? Happy birthday to you all! It's your see, it's your, it's your. It's your, it's your, it's your, it's your, it's your birthday, Lions. Turn up, turn up, it's your birthday, Lions. Turn up, turn up, happy birthday, Lions. Turn up, turn up, it's your birthday, Lions. It's your birthday, Lions. Happy birthday to you, Leo. Happy birthday to you, Leo. Happy birthday to you. Happy, 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 happy birthday. Turn up. Happy, happy, happy birthday. It's your birthday, Lions. Happy, happy birthday. It's your birthday, Lions. Happy, happy, happy birthday. It's your birthday, Lions. Happy birthday, Lions. Happy birthday, Lions. Hey, turn up for what, Leo? It's your birthday. Hey, crank that fire up. Hey, listen. We can have a whole damn party up in here. Hey, boo, hey. This first time on my channel. I'm Mocha. Also, if this first time to my channel, look out. I cuss. May cuss a little. May cuss a lot. Just depending on what the hell these cards say. But I'm a cuss. So if cussing don't work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader right now on YouTube. They can further assist you without cussing. Because the way I'm set up. Mm, my little puppy ass is a Sagittarius. He just got real dry when I was doing that. And usually he be turned up. But he just looked at me like, bitch. So some of y'all may be having a Sagittarius that's trying to cramp your season. But let's anyway. Okay. Let's get it, you guys. I love you guys so much. Thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, the, uh, the the readings, the support. I truly appreciate it, you guys. Um, This may or may not resonate with everybody. Take what does, leave the rest. Don't try to make that damn shoe fit if it don't, because if it's too big, yeah, it's going to fall, okay? Also, um, to the return of, to, to the return of subscribers, family, what's, what's popping? What's up, gang gang? You guys all in love, Insta, ah, and to the new subscribers. <laughs> hey, boo, hey, welcome to the family. We'll live dysfunctional, okay? We don't fight and fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channels. But we do cuss. We share. We grow. We love. We enlighten. We want to be happy family over here, you guys. So, and I'm sorry if you guys, because some people been like, it's an echo. Well, everything up in this motherfucking house is tile and wood, okay? So, baby, it's going to be an echo. We, 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 we jumping off of shit, all right? So, I will try to talk as low as I can, but I feel good. Thank you for Leo season because, damn it, I was like, throw the whole July away, all right? So this will be for the month of August 2019. I apologize for me and to the party. I got a life too, though. Understand? We did. Let's get it, all right? Intuitively, for what I got uh, what I got for you guys is heart chakra, truth within gossip, frenemies, confidence, settling, ancestral guidance, Successful business ventures. Come on, Leo. Fear of success. Synchronicities. Loyalty tested. Compromise. Forgiveness. Coming home. Self-esteem. Codependency. Narcissist. Internal conflict. Discernment. Heightened awareness. Inconsistency. Truth revealed. New beginnings. Closing to restart, renewals, synchronicities. Let's talk about it. <laughs> Overall energy around the reading. You guys, you got the queen of hearts, okay? So some of you all could possibly be dealing with the water sign. Others of you, this could possibly have to do with the Gemini. Some of you guys are actually, some of y'all are in a situation where you were not even planning. You was trying to be the damn love bandit. You like, you, if you, if you could choose, you had, you was going to be the one in a pretty ass, gloss out ass t-shirt that said fuck love and shit, but it was going to be the freshest thing there at the party. So everybody was still going to notice your fine ass. Yeah, that was you. But what had happened was the universe had other plans, right? So they, they, they bought all this love in your life. And this love is actually literally bringing like rapid changes into your life where you once tried to resist love. Now this, this, there's this energy of, you know, I want what I want. And I said what I said and, and it belongs to me. Okay. And so there's a need for you guys not to like change is 
literally, you can't really control that. Some of you guys are possibly needing your twin flame during this time. Others of you, you're entering into soulmate partnerships, okay? I feel that the, these are more positive karmic bonds. So for some of you all, you're meeting your life partner, the person who you're going to spend the rest of your life with during this time. Some of you guys could already be with this person, and there's some type of renewal energy that's happening within this person, okay? Angel message for the month. You guys got peace. Come on. Archangel Chamuel. Peace comes from remembering that only love is real. So I am hearing the word disturbances as soon as I heard, uh, as soon as I read that. Okay. Others of you, um, you need to. Others of you, you're really needing to allow your light to shine. Some of you all have really been sitting on great talents, and during this time, you're getting an opportunity to kind of like, um, not really because I can't say steal the spotlight. Y'all do that shit naturally, but you're getting the opportunity to, um. Like, there's going to be light shed on your gifts, okay? So a lot of you guys are going to be receiving a lot of recognition during this time. Some of you all, there's a focus on the sacral chakra, okay? The sacral chakra being activated as well as the heart chakra for others of you. And there's a need for you just not, for you to resist, for you not to resist, but for you to allow that activation to occur. And yes, of course, before anything new comes in, oh shit, gonna pour the fuck out. Just understand it's with an alignment of where you going, okay? Some of you all are definitely uh, dealing with the Pis uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I definitely feel like peace is coming. And whether if there, if there was any type of chaos in the month of July or June in situations, there's a closing. So for some of you all, there may be reconciliations happening. Instead of arguing with your partner about who the hell coming back, because y'all know, come on now. You know, y'all know it now. If this person is entertaining that shit, that's a whole new ball game. But I definitely feel like for some of you all, there's love that's trying to come in. There's this beautiful, abundant energy for you all, as well as a sense of peace, okay? Others of you, um, others of you, this is a time of purity, y'all. This is a really, not others of you, all y'all. This is a time of purity right now. I definitely feel like you you guys may be seeing 444 a whole lot, 555. There is abundance coming. There's also change that's getting ready to be implemented in situations. I, I keep hearing family. So some of you all could actually be renewing family situations. There could also be apologies I'm hearing. Someone could possibly actually like finally let their damn guards down if you're dealing with the water energy where there was some like resistance when it comes to someone kind of being vulnerable until they feel safe in a situation. Someone has done some inner work and inner healing. And in the month of August, things are going to begin to progress where they once felt a bit of stagnancy, okay? <clears throat> okay, so let's get it. Spirit, what messages do you have for my lovely lives for the month of August 2019? What can they expect in love during this time? Hmm. Some of you guys could possibly be, um, yeah, whatever it was that you guys have been trying to manifest. For some of you all, this could be for the last year. Whatever it is that you've been putting your work into, you're realizing that you're having to walk away from something during this time. Some of you guys, you may be receiving some type of, um, your interest may shift as far as when it comes to like what you want to do as far as your career. Others of you may also be finding yourself thinking about changing your major during this time if you're in school. Some of you guys, and I feel like because whatever it was that you majored in, it's, it, I'm getting, I keep hearing that's what they wanted. So someone, this, some of y'all could have just be coming to realization with yourself. You know, some of y'all went to school for things that's not in alignment with your soul path. And because you're on this journey, things are shifting for you. And some of y'all fear telling someone because like a mother figure here because you don't want to let this person down. Others of you just have to do with the father figure, okay? Some of you guys also are going to be renewing situations, possibly with the sign of Aries, okay? For some of you all, I do see for those of you who are dealing with any type of issues around the father, the patriarchal figure, um, the patriarch figure, I definitely feel that some of you guys are going to be finding resolutions when it comes to ancestral healing, um, also healing amongst immediate family. Some of you all, this could also be the mother or the father of your children. This person does want to move away from chaotic times and come back to be an be of assistance. I keep hearing a help, a help to you during this time. Okay. Yeah. Some of you guys could also be, um, some of you guys could be, okay. Some of you guys feel as if someone who you connected with, who could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, some of you guys feel like there's so much control in the situation instead of the aspect of love. I definitely feel like I'm, I'm seeing two people who really want to move away from the bullshit, but there's like an ego. It's like an ego, um, an ego battle that's going on at the same time where there's still this element of either I'm going to show you or I got to be right. And when we begin to surrender that shit, 
do we get our Ace of Cups? Some of you guys are moving away from an Aries. Some of y'all could also be moving away from the sign of Aquarius, okay? And this could be someone who you have children with with the Aquarius. You just find that the relationship is extremely burdensome during this time. Some of you guys in doing so, you're getting ready to meet a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And I definitely feel like for some of you all, there may be some type of internal conflict because you're just not ending a situation, okay? And some of you all could have actually walked away from a another, okay? So some of you all, it's, it's different for some of y'all. Some of y'all could have been walking away from another water sign, okay? Others of you, if some of y'all going to find out here with this release in here, some... I keep hearing paternity, so I'm going to say it. Some of y'all are going to find out that Billy Jean is not your son, okay? Damn, Jean. Others of you could be moving away from a twin flame situation that could involve a Taurus. Because this person wants to hold on to their damn codependency. Some of y'all, this person got a drinking problem. Some of y'all are straight up heard cocaine, okay? And that's where the money is going while you guys can't build, all right? Others of you... <laughs> Your Ace of Cups is possibly a person who you're not really seeing eye to eye. Like, some of you guys are fighting against the aspect of love. Some of you guys don't want to let that love in, but it's li literally inevitable because this your motherfucker, okay? Some of you all could also be... Some of you guys could also be walking away from internal conflict when it comes to listening to the out... Like, listening to people within the external. Some of y'all could also be... Like, there could be trying to be a coming together of... A situation possibly with a fire sign or a water sign during this time but there's like a mother figure or someone's family could also be a problem with things not moving forward I definitely feel like there could also be fights about a child some of you guys could also be fighting with another water sign okay with the Cancer Pisces Scorpio a younger person and I feel like this person wants love from you however this person is a bit bitter and I am hearing bitter because you're moving away to start something new with someone else okay this could be Cancer Pisces Scorpio Aries Leo Sagittarius I definitely feel like um yeah some of y'all getting ready to cut two people out possibly an air sign and a fire sign some of you all are wanting to communicate or a fire sign, Aries Leo Sagittarius is wanting to communicate with you. And some of you all are just, this is about moving away. You, you're getting to a space where you're moving away from people, places, and things that bring your life drama. I definitely feel like some of you guys walked away from a, um, I see Scorpio here. So some of y'all could be dealing with the sign of Scorpio. Some of you guys could have walked away from a Scorpio or had a Scorpio walk away from you. And in the midst of that, it, it some of you guys didn't know love until you actually risked the chance of losing it, is what I'm hearing, okay? I definitely feel that if you're dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this person, you could have cut this person off. And because you've cut this person off, this person is being very argumentative. This person could also be very intuitive. And they're trying to be a blockage. I'm also hearing sabotage. So someone could also be trying to sabotage um, your partnership. Someone could also be trying to clown somebody on social media during this time. Some of y'all may get tagged in a bullshit ass post where somebody want to argue and I, I'm, I'm hearing business. So someone could be trying to sabotage your your business or your credibility around your business by making you act out of character. So watch your temper during this time. Some of you guys are cutting off a mother-in-law, mother figure. If, if this person has been a, an issue in your relationship, someone's finally going to speak up for themselves during this time. Or there could have been arguments in the past. Somebody's seeing their mama in a narcissistic ways, but it's causing them to take accountability for how they've been in a relationship as well. So I feel like the apology, you are going to be receiving an apology. It may be dry as hell, okay? Others of you got fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I heard Sag very strong, and I also heard friends. Some of y'all got friends that ain't your friends. Some of y'all, okay, let me go and put it like this. Some of you guys are realizing, because you may have friends that, or you may be thinking about reconciling with old friends, well, maybe things didn't get off on the right, like, didn't end on the right track, but now that you've kind of gone through your ascension, you can kind of understand what your friend was going through, so you're wanting to reach out. In those cases, that's okay, but some of y'all got people in your damn energy that's been in your energy for quite some time, and this could be involving someone who's getting ready to have a baby, or someone who's pregnant, someone who has children, but someone is trying to sabotage your family dynamic because they're a jealous bitch who's always somebody's side chick because I definitely feel like someone is just just 
Protect your energy, protect your family space, and don't let everybody in your house know your business during this time. Because some of y'all are connected to a, and I feel like for I, I'm seeing Sagittarius, this could also be coming from the sign of Pisces. This could also be coming from the sign of Aquarius or a Libra, okay? Somebody is trying to sabotage your shit during this time, like throw you under the bus and just ruin your happiness because they're lonely and they haven't really been talking to you much because you're happy. And this person is not accepting the fact that you are moving away. So it's like they trying to, you know, them people that come in your life and fake ass friends that try and laugh like, oh, because, you know, you used to get around. <laughs> Bitch, <laughs> don't drop no tree on me. Ho. Go stand outside the door with that. You guys are needing to guard your energy because y'all definitely got somebody in your energy who you're going to have to check and they cut that bitch off, cut her loose, give her what she's looking for, okay? I definitely see a female energy around here. I'm also seeing some of you guys could also have, um, some of y'all could be dealing with the sign of Pisces. I feel like you have tried to cut this person off, but there is some type of communication or something you're ready to come about. You could have a child with this person and there could constantly be uproars because this person is jealous of the relationship that's starting for you or that you have because this person is a stalker, okay? Others of you, there's some type of disappointment around a family situation. So I keep, I heard paternity again as soon as I said it. Some of y'all could actually be finding out that children ain't your children. And I feel like this is going to assist you in moving forward away from the damn chaos. So if you have a partner that's a Leo, or maybe you're the Leo and this is connected to a baby mother, baby father, child's mother, child's father. I'm trying to work on that. Um, and there was um, issues in the past with this person possibly juggling this person. I definitely feel like somebody's trying to out another person, hoping that their spouse leaves. And it's going to be a double-edged sword because for some of y'all, the spouse, this could have already happened in the past, I'm seeing as well. But for some of y'all, this could be occurring this during this time in August. Believe your partner. Trust what you feel, Leo. Because some of y'all, you, you're dealing with somebody who's either jealous of you or jealous of your partner. And the relationship that you have, this could even be a mother figure. Somebody is dealing with somebody who has a, some of y'all deal with somebody who's the only child and they mother during this time is really acting outrageous. Okay. Some of you guys are also, um, some of y'all are going, there's going to be a lot of transformations in a relationship as far as if someone, um, equally wanting to give back to the relationship where things could have been stagnant before. As soon as Leo said, oh no, I'm taking my love back and I'm leaving with it. You're going to appreciate it when it's gone. This person got their fucking mind right, okay? I definitely feel like, Leo, some of you guys may have to um, stand. Some of y'all are going to have to be someone's rock during this time. Some of y'all could be dealing with a water sign. It could be a friend, family member, etc. This person may decide to go to rehab during this time. Some of you guys are needing to make a decision about resurrecting a family situation if it involves a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or a fire, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This earth sign, some of y'all could be dealing with the sign of Capricorn who could be making you feel rejected because they are tied to a family situation already. This person could have told you that they're getting ready to end the family situation and move forward, okay? I definitely feel like this person is kind of stuck stuck there juggling trying to hold their shit together because somebody some of y'all are attached to someone else who is married or in a relationship and this person this person could also be attached to an air sign gemini libra aquarius they could also be attached to um, a fire sign or a water sign but i feel like this person is also trying to manifest leaving the situation as well leo they really do want to leave their situation however this person has not put no damn fire under their ass a momentum under their ass it's like their intention space is here this person does want to equally give to you some of you guys there's going to be some type of truth and clarity about somebody who could have some of y'all could have got blocked by somebody you could be pregnant by someone who's married i see that this person could have actually tried to like <clears throat> Some of y'all, this person thought that they were slick. This person tried to block you and tried to, like, not really pay you off, but this person tried to crumb you when it comes to attention just enough where you'll keep quiet. And some of y'all is going to speak your damn truth. You let it all hang out during this time, okay? And I definitely feel like y'all taking y'all paw back away from a motherfucker who feels as if they're just going to treat you and you because I feel like there's a need for you to speak up for yourself. Say what you mean to mean what the fuck you said. I said what I said because some of you guys could have two children by someone, okay? This person could have two children. But some of you guys, hmm, hmm, there could be an uproar during this time. Now, in that particular situation, I do feel that someone is going to be angry with you going forward. But I do see that this person may move away from you 
after shit hit the fan during this time. But I do feel somebody's going to be returning back by the month of November. Some of you guys could also be choosing to leave a job during this time. I do see a new opportunity as well. But some of y'all are leaving a job in order to start your business. Good look, sis. Because you're coming through here with that damn magician, uh, with that damn magician energy here with that. Others of you could also be getting into um, different practices with the occult. Also, when it comes to like the law of attraction, some of you guys could also be connected when it comes to um, spell work, magic. Okay, some of you guys could have also uh, some of y'all could be finding out that somebody's mama was paying somebody to do magic to keep y'all apart. But some of y'all is somebody's child's mother, and it's a double-edged sword because this person still don't want this person. And even if they cause y'all to break up before, this person is on their way back to still give to the situation, okay? Especially if this person is a Gemini. This person could be um, a Scorpio. This person can be an Aries. This person can also be a um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Strong emphasis on the Taurus, okay? I definitely feel like some of you guys have a new beginning. Um, this, yeah, there's a new beginning after this damn shit storm. Yeah, because I definitely still see that some of you guys are freeing yourself from a marriage or you're dealing with someone who's getting ready to free themselves from a marriage after some type of information comes out. Some of y'all could definitely be dealing with a, with a, with a damn um, earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, just. Hmm. Some of you guys are indecisive about which way to go about the situation. Do I stay here and be loyal Leo or do I move forward after speaking my truth? I do see that some of you guys have a soulmate relationship or some type of twin flame partnership with the Gemini. There could also, or some of y'all is with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There's also going to be some type of feelings expressed, truth revealed, okay? Regarding someone's going to say that they've been dreaming about you as well, just like you've been dreaming about them, okay? I definitely feel like where someone was trying to be deceptive and hide some type of pregnancy, there will be offers made, there will be truth revealed, okay? And someone is going to be making an offer after the fact to try to correct the situation after this period of solitude. Some of you guys could definitely be dealing with another fire sign who wants to come in and fix the situation, but it's like they want to come in and check. It's like I'm here and check the facts, facts first, facts first. So some of you guys could be dealing with someone who believes that they need the facts around the situation before they invest in it. <clears throat> and others of you, around the third week of August, you are going to be hearing some type of positive news regarding a new job for those of you who could have left your job at the end of June or at the middle of July. You guys are definitely laying a situation to rest if you're dealing with an air sign. Gemini, we feel curious. Some of you guys are completely moving away and focusing on your money and focusing on yourself because this, you're just re coming to the realization that this person don't deserve your love. And some of y'all are moving right on into the lo love of my life. But some of you all, this is a past life soulmate that you're going to be moving to. Some of y'all just have to do with the Sagittarius wanting to come back and correct their family, will we'll fix their family issues. Some of y'all going to cut a fucking Sagittarius off for being a jealous bitch if it's a female. Others of you um, are needing to speak your truth when it comes to being um, somebody's side dish delight and allowing them to, you're not allowing them to neglect your children or for that matter, keep your children a secret anymore. You're going to speak up. Others of you are dealing with a water sign that could have been in jail. Some of y'all this could involve an Aries person that's in jail. It's something about 1818. That nine, this person could get out either nine months earlier than what they're supposed to or in the month of September because I heard affidavit. And I, I don't know who I heard that with earlier uh, when I was doing a, on Instagram. I'm not sure what element that was, but I got the same similar message. Somebody's going to get out of jail. And I feel like this person wants to surprise you, especially if this person is a Scorpio. Others of you getting ready to offer that damn cup of love, offer that new beginning to a Scorpio after releasing something toxic, okay? Some of y'all could be walking away from a damn Capricorn, but you didn't have enough about enough, okay? There is a new beginning when it comes to fulfillment. Something new is trying to flourish. A lot of you guys are experiencing new love, but and some of y'all it does have to do, and I'm also hearing renewal, so this could also be a renewal in love. Somebody could also be finding out that they're pregnant, which brings in this renewal. Congratulations, because most love the kids, okay? Some of you guys could also be getting some type of offer of commitment. 
um, possibly from a Taurus, a Leo, or a Cancer, okay? But I definitely feel like some of you guys moving forward could definitely be finding out that you're damn pregnant as well. Others of you, there is some type of movement forward after some type of um, clarity around the child as well. Where well, there could have been resistance due to there being some type of third-party situations. Someone was tired of investing in a situation that only ends toxic. So you're walking away, canceling anything in your life that's going to bring you drama. For those of you who are wanting to start your own business, some of y'all are afraid of having to leave everything behind because you're so used to being the one to take care of everything and everybody. But baby, listen, you cannot allow that to stand in your way and stand in your path, baby. You got to live your life. You got to walk your path. It's what you, for some of y'all, it's what you signed up here for. Some of you guys, I keep hearing boutiques. Some of y'all want to have your own boutique. Others of you are um, designers. Some of you also uh, possibly um, travel. I keep. Some of y'all could be travel agents. Some of you also could also um, be wanting to get some type of contract with Uber or Lyft. I don't know why I heard Uber. Uh, but no, no, no shade because the face, it was just like Uber. That was just weird. I didn't think Spirit would just talk to me about Uber. Some of you guys could also be um, hmm. somebody going to school for aquatic science. You want to be an underwater whale for it. Someone finna get ready, like you want to go get that CDL, but you feel as if you won't be able to get it due to a background. It's a miracle that's finna happen in your life, baby. Let go and let God. There will be truth and clarity about a third party situation, especially if there was a child involved. Some of you all, there was gonna, this gonna be, there's gonna, to, this is going to bring a renewal in love. Some of y'all is gonna find out. That a child belongs to the person who you said to do. Some of y'all that that ain't that Billy Jane ain't your kid, okay? Or ain't your partner's kid. But if you're dealing with an air sign, Gemini Libra Aquarius, or possibly a fire sign, this person wants to work through the deception and you just don't know if you can trust it. Some of y'all gonna choose to be by your damn self and open that damn business and boss up on the motherfucker and then return back to love. And I do see if you're moving away from someone due to their um toxic attachments. I do see a reconciliation happening by the month of November. So this this shit is gonna pick back up. But it looks it looks as if it's going to come back in more healthy. Which is a good look. Cause some of y'all is dealing with people who running from their own damn karma and you finding yourself being somebody's karmic crutch. Spirit we got time for that. No. So you're literally having to be real during this time, open up and allow peace, love, clarity, and healing restoration, renewals, abundance to flow into your life without trying to control it because I definitely feel that someone is going to be putting off an air sign. Someone's tired of this third party shit. They don't want to do it anymore. There's like a lot of guilt around it. Uh, this person could possibly be a twin flame to you. But you're making a decision to move forward and just choose you. Some of y'all are going to choose their past life soulmate. Some of you guys need to make a damn decision on which way you want to go. Do you want to go water or fire? Let me know. Okay, so this is what I have for you guys for the month of August. I pray that this resonates. Happy, happy, happy birthday, lines. I send you all love, light, peace, many blessings, you guys. Mm -hmm. Namaste. And you guys have a blessed one. I'll see you guys here mid-month. Mm -hmm. Bye, y'all.